All right, all right, what's going on? It's Moonshine here with another video for you. It's just a brief one. I'm just trying to, uh, one, um, just bought a new webcam, so I'm testing it out and trying some new stuff. I'm trying to use the laptop instead of the phone because of storage issues and all that sort of thing, and I'm a technological illiterate, so you're just trying something different. And I just wanted to use this as a demo, and I figured I'd show you some of the crap I got recently. Not, not really an unboxing thing, but just some crap I've been, I bought recently. So anyway, I got a couple CDs, a couple books, and some shirts I wanted to show you. So I was at a local, local store, record store called Sound Exchange, and found this Testament CD. It was pretty good. Uh, mostly the two tracks on it that stood out to me were uh, Return to Serenity and Electric Eye, I want to say. Is that the name? No, Electric Crown, excuse me. That's that's a pretty song. But it was good. It was, you know, honestly, it's more background music more than anything. But I, I like Testament, so I just figured I saw that, picked it up. It was cheap, so I figured I'd get it. I remember when I was younger, and you see the videos on MTV, and those are, again, the only ones that stood out to me. And then I haven't opened it yet, but I got uh, the Obsessed Sacred. Got that CD. I'm a huge Obsessed fan, huge Wino fan. Uh, loved everything he did in St. Vitus. The Obsessed Spirit Caravan. Uh, trying to beef up my collection a little bit, because I don't have a, I haven't purchased a lot of their stuff over the years. I don't, I don't purchase a lot of stuff. I just, recent years, been starting to beef up my collection. But they got a new album coming out. I'm anticipating that. So I just figured I'd start beefing things up. Uh, also, I got a couple books. I went to Barnes & Noble. I tried getting that Scott Burns book that came out, but they didn't have that. Tried getting Steve Kern's autobiography. They don't have that. I guess you gotta go on Amazon. It's made to order or something or other. So I found these. I found... Rob Halford's autobiography, so I'm excited to check that out, and I found Lemmy, the almighty Lemmy, <laughs> found his autobiography, because that, that's got to be fun, he, he lived, I'm sure, a full, exciting life, and uh, there's that, and then a few of the shirts I got, hopefully, the fir first one I got is from a podcast I listen to on Rumble called Revenge of the Sis. That's their OG logo. Uh, it's, it's two guys who are in here in Florida. They they have a show. It's on Rumble. It used to be on YouTube. They got kicked off of YouTube, went to Rumble. It's funny. It's like a, it's a comedy show, but they do a lot of political talk, uh, cover all sorts of internet-y shit, which honestly, I don't really care about a lot of that stuff, but I do enjoy their political talk. I enjoy the riffing that they do. It kind of reminds me of old Opie and Anthony stuff, which they used to both be, uh, I don't know if you call them pests, but I know, you know, Mersh and Mersh and Royce are the names of the guys who run the show. Royce Lopez, uh, Mike Shealy goes by Mersh. And I know uh, Mersh used to do some stuff with Opie and Anthony, just kind of on the, on the periphery. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard of Royce. He has a thing called Hippo Juice, uh, and he did something. I, I remember his name coming up back in the day, but uh, beyond yeah, so they got a show. It's pretty cool. Check it out if you want. It's on Rumble. Uh, I'll add a link to it if, if you want. And then this one I thought was really cool. This is their, uh, it's their LOD mock-up, and I saw that. I was like, oh, I got to get that, and honestly, I kind of feel like a dick because I've been listening to their show for years, and I don't donate. I don't, I don't. I don't have a, they're on Locals is a thing where it's a paid subscription service that they have for their show. Uh, I don't do that. And so I just, okay, I got to throw these guys some money. So I, I went and got a couple shirts, which I like. They're cool. They're, they're comfortable. They're soft tees, which I enjoy. And then the third one I got was, of course, Morton Red. Their t-shirt finally came out. Their Devil's Reign, Ernest Borgnine. You see the back, that's the band there. Revic is a very cool guy. I've chatted with him online a few times and he's super cool. He he joke he was not joking, but he was talking to me about let me set these down. He was talking about doing a collab down the road 
doing like a metal pro wrestling thing, talking about that, maybe doing a small thing. Like I told him, I said, I'm interested, but you know, I get like, what, like five people watching this shit. So it's really, really not fair to him. He's, he's doing pretty well in this kind of like in the, the metal ecosphere and content creating and all that sort of stuff. His band is, is doing all right. He, they got a album coming out on uh, Goat Throne Records, I think sometime this year. So that's pretty cool. Be excited to check that out. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know, you know. Hey, if you get those numbers up, we'll probably do something. But other than that, I don't know. We'll probably uh, we'll do a couple more videos in the near future. I was going to try to do one. Uh, it's a Saturday at the time of this, but I had to work. I get called into work, which sucks. And uh, so I was going to do the second part of the Malenko thing. But I'm going to do that. I got a day coming up, a day off coming up here pretty soon. So do that. And then uh, I got a couple of things I got planned. But beyond that, yeah, that's that. So I just figured to do a quick one, test out this camera and, and do a quick unboxing thing. All right. Hope you enjoy. I will talk to you soon. Later.